single strills. One ball live. A minimum of eight players is needed for this game. Two sets of players rally with one another in a split court setup in which the court is halved vertically. Two balls are purred in play with a drop hit with two simultaneous rallies. Once an error is made, the person making the error calls out one ball live, and the remaining ball is played out among the four players. The winning team scores a point and stays to play against two new players. Play until one team reaches 10 points and is declared the winner. Tag Team Singles A minimum of four players is needed for this game. Players are split into two groups and each forms a line behind the middle of each baseline. One player is up on each side. The first player drop hits the ball across the net and runs to the back of the line. Then the opposing player hits the ball and runs to the back of that line. After each player hits the ball once, he or she runs to the back of their line, keeping the point going until one side misses. Each line can keep track of how many points it wins. The first team to 10 points is declared the winner. Champions of the Court In this game, a designated champion competes against a line of at least three challengers. The champion assumes a baseline position on one side of the court. The challengers wait at the back of the opposite side of the court. The first challenger assumes a baseline position and drop hits or serves the ball to the champion. A point is played between these two players using the singles court boundaries. If the challenger wins, he or she is the new champion and runs to the other side of the court. The former champion goes to the end of the challenging line. If the champion wins the point, he or she stays and plays a point against the second challenger. The first challenger goes to the end of the challenger line and waits another turn. Champs and Chumps A minimum of six players is needed for this game. Three or four players line up behind the baseline on each side of the court. One side of the court is designated as the champion side, while the other side is called the chump side. The first player from each side plays out a point using the singles court boundaries. The player that wins the point goes to the end of the champion's line, while the loser goes to the end of the chump's line. The other players rotate through their line in order. Points can begin with a drop hit or a serve. Doubles drills. Team doubles. This game requires a minimum of six players. Four players assume the typical doubles position on each side of the court. One side is the serving side and one side is the returning side. Points can begin with a drop hit or a serve. After a point is played out, players take turns rotating one spot on their side of the net. For example, play A1 would move to the back of the A line. Player A2 would move to the net and A3 would be on the baseline. Games can be played to 7 or 11 points, with teams switching time sides of the courts after each game. One side serves the entire game, and all serves are from the deuce court. All position doubles. A minimum of eight players is needed for this game. Each player stands adjacent to a doubles position. A1, B1, C1, and D1 play a point. 
Start with a drop serve or a hit. Once the point is played, each player rotates to the next position. The A participants rotate to B and so on. After the rotation, another point is played, this time with players A2, B2, C2, and D2. After the point is over, all players rotate and the ball is put in play. The benefit of this game is to play points from all positions on the court and to have players moving constantly. Champs of the court doubles. This game consists of six to eight players per court. A champion doubles team competes against a line of challengers. To start, the champs assume baseline positions on one side of the court, while the challengers wait at the back of the opposite court. The challengers play three points against the champs. On the first point, the coach feeds a short ball to the approaching players on the challenger's side. Team A hits an approach shot and plays out the point. The coach feeds the second point as a volley or a half volley to the same side. The third and final point is fed as an overhead. If the challengers win two out of three, they take the place out of champions and hustle to the other side of the courts. The coach then counts down three, two, one, and feeds the next ball to the challenging team while the losing team rotates to the back of the challenger's line. Group games. Triples. In this game, Players are divided into two teams with three to six players per team. Each side forms a triangle with one person at the net and two players behind the baseline. Extra players wait at the back fence to fill in from the baseline after each point. The ball is fed into play by a coach or a player and the point is played out using the doubles court. After each point, players rotate counterclockwise. The first team to 10 points wins the game. This game helps develop quicker reactions and alertness at the net. Deep Desperation A minimum of 10 players is needed for this game. A doubles champion team is placed on one baseline. All other players line up with a partner at the net post. The first team at the net post takes position at the net. The coach begins each point with a high lob to the open court. The players at the net must chase down the lob, letting it bounce, and play out the point against the champion team. If the challenging team wins, they run over to replace the champions. A new ball is fed high into the air to the next challenging team, who is moved quickly onto the court. If the challenging team loses the point, they quickly go to the end of the net post line and the next team of challengers comes in to play out the lob. Whoever is left in the champion position after a designated amount of time wins the game. Wipeout. In this game, the group is divided into two teams of at least five players each. Each team stands in a line along the back fence on opposite sides of the court. To begin, one person from each team plays a singles point, beginning with a drop hit. After the point, the winner stays on the court and adds a second person to his or her side of the court. The player who loses the point goes to the end of their line, and the next player drop hits the ball to the two people on the opposite side. In this example, A1 plays B1, and A1 wins the point. B1 goes to the end of the B line, while A2 joins A1 on the court. B2 becomes the new lone player and puts the ball in play with a drop hit. 
Team A must play into the singles court, but B2 can use the doubles court. If Team A wins again, A3 is added to the court to play against the new player, B3. B3 will draw a pit to begin the next point. If B3 wins, she adds B4 to her court and plays A4 only. In this case, players A1 through 3 are wiped out and returned to the end of the line. Play continues until one entire team is on the court and wins the next point. This game usually seesaws back and forth with teams adding players and then getting wiped out. This game is effective for extra large groups of 10 or more people, but note that you always start the ball from the side with one player and be certain that players maintain their order.